Hello everyone and welcome back to Dishonored 2. This is episode 12. Last time we went to the Grand Palace and we dealt with Duke Luca Abel times two. There was a real one and a body double and we ended up putting the body double in power in a very interesting turn of events and uh, extraordinary mission. It was very fun. I enjoyed working our way through all the diff different aspects of the mansion, trying to determine which Duke is the fake one and which one is the real one. And still, even though we have evidence falling for the real one and being like, hey, I think you're the fake one. And it's just really funny to see all of those sequences play out, especially for a first time run. You know, you don't know how the sequence of storytelling is going to play out. And it's, it's fun to see like, I'll just put all of these enemies in a closet and nobody will go there and everybody goes there and like just the the way that things can completely fall apart when you're trying your best uh absolutely just so much fun though uh so we've finished that and the body double is now in power and uh he's, he's a lot more agreeable than the uh than the old duke we now find ourselves back on the dreadful whale uh to i guess determine uh, what's happening next? Uh, we have bone charms on the boat for a change. That's an interesting development. And of course, once again, I lock on and it disappears. Uh, let's take a look around. See if there's anything new around this ship outside of the bone charms. If I hadn't killed the Duke's brother so long ago, would any of this have happened? Megan's outside. Hey, there you are. I wanted a chance to talk. Okay. So, is the main room empty then? I thought this was going to be a little bit of a, a bonus I thing. I vow I wouldn't come back here. And that's twice I've broken it for you. I wonder what Delilah's thinking. Look at how... She must be aware that things have changed in Karnaka. Look at how dreary, dreary, dreary this place is now. Alright, we won't start the briefing Five just yet. Ago, if someone told me that one day I'd be happy not living alone, I would have laughed. Megan Foster's cabin key. Have we finally got the key to that door that's been locked the whole time? There was a time I could find my way across these roofs blindfolded. I won a lot of drinks from people who said I couldn't. When you were potentially Billy Lurk. Now, this is going to be an interesting thing. We have Delilah's heart, a spirit, in the heart now because we went into the vault and took the Horcrux and now we have it. So I'm really wondering what happens if we do this. There are cracks in the world from the outsider's birth, and then we draw from these fractures. Can you feel them? Okay, it seems that she doesn't have people dialogue, she just has dialogue. I inhabit two impossible places at once. You will never gain back what you lost here. Alright, well before we talk to Megan outside, we'll take a look around because I think those bone charms must be in her cabin then. Poor oh, little girl. Wants an empress. So it seems she has a set amount of dialogue in particular areas, I assume, because we expanded, uh, we ex expended all of her dialogue uh, in the previous level. Hang on. Letter two, Billy Lurk. Hang on a second. Billy. This straight up confirms it then. I ain't know your address, so I just give this letter to a mudlark who knew the lay of the area and hope for the best. You and I ain't got no reason to like each other, but Fennec liked you good enough, so that's why I'm writing. Anyways, he's dead, and I thought you should know. It was that old wound, remember? Never did heal. He tried every kind of cure and poultice. You know what I think? I think maybe the boss cut him. Maybe on purpose, maybe not. You know how it was back then. Speaking of, I tried to find the big knife. No one's heard a thing in years. Don't know if he's alive or what. Anyways, out of respect to Fennec, if I ever see you, I won't kill you. Katrina. 
Big Knife Dowd and Letter to Billy Lurk. There you go. That that confirms it because it's like we've had quite a, a few like uh, hints in dialogue, and you're just like, mm. the last time we saw Billy Lurk, she was on a boat. You know, we let her go free as Dowd. And the letter to Billy Lurk made it here, huh? Very intriguing. But that's cool. Uh, let's head down. It was 1831. He came to her. To me. To us. Said I, we could change it all. And make the world right. So Clover uh, has that I painting coming along. Admit, this campaign has been conducted with far more restraint than I would have expected. I see inside you, Remarkable. but you're not as twisted as I thought you'd be. Coming from such a background, taking the throne. I'm just going to listen to what he has to say before we move on. At least the situation with the Duke is behind us. Let's not forget that small detail in all this. Drunken despot. <laughs> Denied her. Brianna was the first to hear our call. I doubt my apartment on Caldwin's Bridge is as I left it. Jessamine is gone at last, faded into nothing. Her reward is peace. natural philosophy and shock them all. Huh? Assuming it still stands. I will shock them all. Oh look, yeah, he's he's uh he's at work. Okay, we got an audiograph. Got anything more to say? Black as polished onyx as he marked her flesh. My flesh. Hmm. Hey, what are your graph time? Still aboard this creaking thing that Megan calls a boat. And Tom Sokolov, once the designer of mighty ships thrown against the malevolent ocean and large enough to heave the great Leviathans aboard, thrashing and spilling their life's blood across the decks. Majestic ships, swift with luxurious cabins, fit for an empress. Where are those vessels now? They're far too important to carry an old man like me. I've been abandoned by my own creations. But maybe that's the way it should be. Haven't I been cruel? Selfish? Perhaps I should be forgotten consigned to the junk heap. Maybe I should die at last. And there's a chance I will on this final escapade. To Dunwall, then. We'll see what's left of me. What's left of me? Yeah, what do we got? You got anything? Plenty of additions to the room. Nothing for us in particular to investigate. But a few coins, sir. Uh, coins for your pouch. Alright. She found the place where he was birthed by knife and ritual thousands of years past. She did indeed find it. That's what the outsider was saying. Uh, Megan Foster's notebook. All right. At this point in the game, they go. There you go. <laughs> Actually. Can you see. What the fuck? Look at that. Can you briefly see. Am I crazy? It looks like a. Does it look like you can see like a face? you sit at a particular angle, like there, you see the face? I know that the human eye is trained to see patterns and facial recognition, but like, it does look like a face. 
do that? <laughs> Spiritual pool and healthy appetite. Food restores more health and mana regeneration is slightly faster, which I do like that one actually. So let me check that on. I only have the one crafted bone charm because like it's, I can see how easy it is to overpower yourself. <laughs> Can you believe that I I must have missed well no because the only I've only missed two bone charms in the game so far. And that was the two on Brianna Ashworth, which was um she had ones that saved her from like the first bullet or bolt and, and stuff like that. But we don't have faster choking. Like, we don't have faster choking. And I want to have fast choking <laughs> so I can uh, stack that together with uh, three or four. Because you get breathe invisibility after choking. Unexpected uh, doubt there. I didn't expect to hear Michael Madsen's voice in this game, but they got him. Pretty cool. What day is it? I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know what will happen. No one can know, but I have a feeling that we'll all be dead soon. Everyone dies, just like my sweet Deirdre, twitching in the mud. But I think death is very close now. The air feels strange. The wind is coming from the west. I saw a dead gull floating in some foam. Don't go off to Dunwall. Billy! That's what I'm reading from all the signs. I could run, finally try and find him at long last, the old knife himself. They could rent another boat. They don't need me, not really. So I could run. I should run. Haven't I had more than my share of blood? So why am I still here? Very cool. So you can start the briefing with Sokolov or Megan, and I don't know if it's different or I don't know if you're able to talk to each one, so I'm going to save beforehand, and that way we can talk to both of them if there's a difference. I'm not sure. All right, Aunt Delilah. Let's see what you've done with my palace. Aunt Delilah. Sir Konos has a better duke now, even if no one else knows it. Home at last. It feels like another lifetime living in the tower. The office of the High Overseer, the Golden Cat, Slaughterhouse Row. We're coming home, Coldridge Prison, Dunwall Tower, the Boyle Mansion. Delilah is alone now, but still immortal because we have her spirit in the heart. I find it so interesting that we have the painting of uh, Delilah here this whole time. It feels creepy, like we're being watched. Talk to Megan first. Hmm. 
Megan. People have called me that for a long time, but it's a lie. My name is Billy Lurk. Everyone's full of secrets. Why do I feel like you've got more to say? Yeah. I can't believe I'm telling you this, but you deserve the truth. I'll just say it. Fifteen years ago, I ran with a mercenary gang. We got paid to kill people. Some who deserved it, some who didn't. The boss pulled me up from the Dunwall slums when I had nothing and had run out of rope. I... This is hard to admit. Whatever it is, spit it out. Our leader was the assassin Dowd, and I was part of the crew. Our last big job together, we were paid to... You helped Dowd kill my mother? Yes. I don't know what else to say. I've lived a very long time wishing I could take that day back, but I can't. Ooh! There's a choice. She has changed since those times. We know that there is remorse in her actions and a lot of shame and guilt that plagues her. I can't ever forgive you for what you did. But suffering has a way of twisting people. You're a different woman today than you were then. Yeah. We've all been hurt. But not all of us did what I did. Or became what Delilah became. I know you'll never get over it. But neither will I. I hope not. Goodbye, Billy. I'm taking the skiff. And I'll go alone from here. It's said with such disdain in her voice, sadly. Because it's like, ugh. It would be interesting if her name changed to Billy Lurk here. I can't deny it. Traveling with you has changed me. I know you want to face her alone. But good luck. Remember, even if you pull off whatever trick you're planning for Delilah, she won't be easy to beat. What is that, though? What do they got going on here? I gotta say, Dunwall looks rather miserable. But maybe that's from the outside looking in. It is uh, bad weather today, but we got whaling ships in the just like half submerged, too. I'm glad Sokolov was awake to say goodbye. How is it the old man cured the plague all those years ago, but can't eat without getting food on his shirt? Something to do with Jindosh, I imagine. In my time here, the Dunwall City Watch was just a bunch of drunkards and layabouts. No wonder half of them turned on you. Goodbye, Emily. Okay, now for Sokolov. So we do get to talk to both, of course. It's always just a just-in-case precaution, you don't know. You know where to go to find Delilah, but how will you handle her? It's my hope that you have some sort of plan. It could be tricky. She might not give me any choice but to fight, and Delilah deserves whatever she gets. At my age, I've come to distrust words like deserve. As I told you, I knew her long ago. Badly wounded, deep at her center, but cunning and looking for a way to pull herself up. Perhaps more than anything, Delilah had a talent for imagining the world as a better place. If only that could have been channeled towards something less twisted. It's probably too late to dwell on regrets. Yes, you're right. In any case, please watch yourself. I've come to care a great deal about you. Goodbye, Anton. I think something that's really interesting about Delilah is with what we have about her and what we what we know, what we've been presented with in terms of her sort of personality and her ambitions and her history is she has that very tragic upbringing and what has happened to put her down this path where she's been like 
unfairly treated. And if we're go we're taking what she said at face value of her actually being Jessamine's half sister, like she has a very yeah just unfortunate side of things and has been twisted. She's part of the Brigmore witches stuff. She's got the outsider magic. She's been forced to do things a certain way, but that's that's changed her, and it has her doing things in a way that's not for the good of everyone. It's just she's so determined to be in a position of of power, or feels like she can, you know, have what was promised to her as a child in Dunwall Tower. Uh, but obviously, she doesn't have a legitimate claim to the throne. Like, the way that she's superseded Emily, it just, it just doesn't work that way. <laughs> you can't just show up and be like, actually, it's me. Especially as she is a bastard child with, uh, with this in mind. But the skiff is ready for leave for the docks of Dunwall, so... The district is practically a ghost town now. There you go. Okay. Alright, it's time! Go to the Dunwall streets. If old Samuel could see me now. I'm driving this thing myself, Sam. Death to the Empress. You must confront Empress Delilah Copperspoon before she changes all the world with her will. Enter Dunwall Tower and find a way to reunite Delilah's spirit with her body to make her mortal again. Only then can you eliminate her and take her back to the throne. So it's interesting is it doesn't go by the Horcrux rules. You can't just stab the heart and her go, Hi! you know, it doesn't work that way. You got to return the spirit to her and then you can fight her properly. Yeah, look, Delilah could have been a great leader, potentially. She was just unfortunately twisted by her upbringing, which is no fault of her own. But the path that she's been on is just not a good one. And we must put it to an end. I wonder what the non-lethal option is here. Oh wow! Hang on. Take me to the Mall Tower. Bring me back to the cage of my own chest. Huh. Oh, I will. Delilah will be made mortal again. You, you let, let your mother, mother slip into oblivion. oblivion. Do you, you know, know where, where my mother's, mother's resting? resting? In, in a child's coffin, her skinny legs tucked beneath, beneath her, because I couldn't afford a proper burial, while my father rests in the Imperial Crypt. You're lying. You still can't accept it, little girl. Your father was born a nobody. I inhabit your mother's heart, and my body walks the halls of your crumbling palace and sleeps between your sheets. If I learned anything in Karnaka, it's that birth shouldn't give anyone the right to rule. You earn it every day by serving the people who need you. Now I'm coming to end your tyranny, Delilah. Dude, Delilah's uh, venomous words there, dude. Like, straight venom. Um, very good. And this is something that's very important to think about here, is I've had people bring up the fact of, like, why do you doubt Delilah? Like, there's no reason for you to doubt her. And it's just like, well, first of all, I don't trust a villainous character who I know to be evil without concrete evidence. If they just show up one day and say something, I'm not going to go, oh, yeah, cool, makes sense, I'll believe that. I will, I will doubt it and question it as we go along the story and more and more things happen in the story along the way to make you unsure. And that's intentional because the character that you're playing is also doubting it and saying you're lying. Like, that's the point of the game in the immersive element that you and the player, uh, so the player and the character are on the same page. And it's very well handled in that sense because Dishonored 1's DLC makes zero sort of mentions. There's uh, hints to her being growing up in Dunwall Tower, which is very interesting, stuff like that, but there's never that angle of, um, you know, you are a bastard child to the, to the Emperor, you know. Uh, so it, it's really good that Emily has the same opinion as the player, where there is, like, this resistance to that information, like, you don't want to believe it to be true, uh, but 
you can choose to believe the villain if you want uh, without any proof but personally uh, myself and Emily are on the same boat we'd be doubting until uh, things are proven otherwise because like Delilah literally has outsider magic and is full of tricks and illusions so for her to like visit you in a dream and go look at my tragic story it's still in a way where Emily doubts it. You know, you never look at that and go, huh, so it must be true because I'm seeing a magic vision. You know, it's still that same element of this could still be uh, fabricated. So I really like that angle. It's also amazing to come back to Dunwall just to see this uh, familiar architecture, except for the fact that this is now a ghost town. Uh, and is not in good shape whatsoever. Delilah. Look at your precious Dunwall. This is not a good welcome party. Um, actually, something I need to check as well is how we do it on runes. We've got the one rune. Kind of want to get... It's very interesting because we used to be able to have in Dishonored 1 with Blink the ability to slow time when you aimed it just in general like you could just hold it to like focus but they've changed that with Far Reach when you can only just slow time only if you're falling. <laughs> you can't just have like a, a pause button whenever you want. I wonder if the uh, I wonder if Corvo has his uh, option. So look, we're we're back where we initially went onto the dreadful whale. Uh, all those all that uh, all those missions ago now. It's been so long. Let's check out this boat. Grim tidings from the capital of the Empire. Following the coup, Empress Delilah Coldwin, formerly called Delilah Copperspoon, still sits on the throne in Dunwall Tower. The residents of the district have, for the most part, fled. Shops and apartments sit in decay. In some cases, barricades have been erected at narrow streets, attempting to contain the odd cabal of women accompanying our new ruler. There's your Brigmore witches. Seeking to exploit an opportunity, local gangs are having a field day. I can attest personally to the increased presence of the Hatters, whose number have swelled with the recruitment of orphan children. Yes, this is very good, Delilah. Your rule is so positive. Your intrepid reporter will continue to bring you news as it happens, and as always, I will interpret the events to the best of my ability. As at the Courier, we try to represent all sides that we deem reasonable. But of course, we have a perspective and we have values. Like all journalistic outlets, we will always inform our reporting. Um, yes. Grim tidings indeed. Dunwall Tower. Thomas, two days ago I saw all the Abbey men gather in the street and march toward Dunwall Tower. I'd never seen so many of them. They were all reciting the strictures, their voices united. It made me believe the city could still be saved. But they haven't returned. Someone said they couldn't even reach the throne room at the top of the tower, where Empress Delilah sits, scheming upon whatever comes next. It looks like most of them died at the main gate, Thomas. There are no overseers left in the capital. I am packing everything and leaving while I still can. Join me as soon as possible. Jesus. So, there's our sort of uh, update on the situation. Delilah said, cool, I'm the Empress now. Time to not do my responsibility and just go, cool witches, let's hang out and watch the city decay. So it's not like this thing, which I think would be really amazing. Like how terrible would it be for um, Emily to be away for so long and to come back to Dunwall and it's better than how she left it. You know, like her fear of like, will she be a better empress than me? It would be so wild. Uh, to be like everything's kind of good it makes for a very conflicting goal to remove her from the throne but in instead we're met with a very sort of um it's weird a, a very sure thing of um 
oh yeah, she's bad and this is all bad and look how bad it's gotten. I feel justified in my actions. There's no conflict of uh, character here. It's just like, I know what must be done. Delilah must be given the boot so I can make Dunwall a better place. So it's, you sympathize with Delilah's upbringing and her position, but she's going about everything like the wrong way, you know? So there isn't this element of like, I see where you're coming from and I, I want you to be able to be a better person, but it just feels like it's too late at this point. Too far gone. We'll have to see what happens when we actually approach her. Citizens report troubling events. Troubling signs of mischief have been reported recently in all corners of Dunwall. What was thought to be a series of pranks has proven much more widespread and unsettling. Despite the enlightened age in which we live, superstitious folk have begun to rumor monger of witchcraft. There are reports of dogs shaved to the skin, small owls pinned to doors, lines of salt ominously left below windows, dried rats hung from archways, cats walking backwards who fail to mew, and pots of strange smelling ointments left underneath beds and writing desks. That all these things might be occurring here in the capital all at once boggles this journalist's mind. What desperate times! If half of these are true, each odd occurrence seems a bad omen, a warning for terrible things to come. And if, as some say, these antics are the work of Empress Delilah's devout followers, then what hope is there? The, the fun thing about this is people are like, Oh, Emily, she sucks, get her out of here! And she's just conspired or she's the crown killer, you know? <laughs> and then people are like, Oh, actually, wait a minute. Now things are terrible. So it allows, hopefully, for a... Uh, a push for Emily to be welcomed back in, hopefully. Yeah, we've got the black market here now. Okay. The pub has been converted hey, into the black market. Watch out. With all the shops in the district shuttered, this place still might be your best. <sighs> Hard times in Dunwall, with the new Empress and her crew taking over. Uh, we got explosive bullet, silent running. Reduces damage taken, less visible in well-lit areas, deals sword damage against clockwork soldiers, and more sword damage against magic using enemies. Okay, very good. Let's have a look at these upgrades. You want um, blueprints for better weaponry. Okay, so to get these, um, we're just going to be less visible. I'll take that deal. Which is still going to be very dis visible. <laughs> uh, we'll get. Silent running and silent sprint. Don't regret it. So just less noise in general is very good. And deal sword damage against clockwork soldiers because why not? Glad we could do business. And then we're good for the rest. We will buy your rune, ma'am. <sighs> key to the City Watch Armory. The shopkeeper's young son snatched the key to an abandoned City Watch Armory near the gate to Dunwall Tower. This checkpoint was used to stock military equipment, which might prove useful. Very good. I take a risk just having the goods delivered here. All right. That's all well and good. Anyway. Thank you. Watch your ass out there. So we read that one. I don't know. Welcome back. So Ghost Town, there's still a black market. I'm assuming that we wouldn't really have. Well, there might be Brickmore witches chilling around. After sparrows, three times call. After gold dust, three times call.
Okay. This is what happens over the loudspeaker, huh? No, the monarch decreed to them below. Up on a spike, they perched his head. That was the weirdest fall to my death ever. I'm like, I can make this jump without the blink. Nope. Ugh! Okay, so we've got the uh, we've got the Hatters gang in here. I see. Rough fight. Not your lucky day, it seems. Okay, so the Hatters are back in action. That Emmett Lark built this place. Oh, who cares who built it? Old Lady Grithers lived here when I was growing up. She's gone now. Trampled underfoot in one of those riots. That's a bad way to go. The trick is to die in bed, belly full of whiskey. That's how I'm gonna go out. You watch. No, I'm thinking it's a belly full of stab wounds for you, throwing up blood in an alley. <laughs> Wait. What in the void? There you are. Mesmerize. Very good. Uh. And that Mesmerize lasts way longer now that I've upgraded it. We can go across the street to check out the uh, the news place as well. Get our updates on all of these people's living conditions. Uh, let's check out the Dunwall Courier. I hear the typewriter keys. Hello. So you're all well and good. Last time we met, you ran away from me. Your Majesty, you're alive. It's been almost two months, hasn't it? I've been down in Karnaka trying to figure out how all this happened with Delilah and the Duke of Sirkonos. And were you successful? Things are a mess here. I know how to beat Delilah now. I'm going to retake my throne and find a way to help my father. That's the best news I've heard in a long while. You'll have my support. Whatever you need, just ask. Once it's safe, just tell the public what happened. If I come out on top, I'll invite you to Dunwall Tower to conduct an interview. Nice. Okay. Crown killer strikes again. Good luck at Dunwall Tower. Last time I tried to save him from that guard and then I struck too early and he just ran away. <laughs> People of the district have fled. Everyone's afraid of Delilah and her followers. 
Empress and Royal Protector exonerated, victims of clever conspirators. On these trusted pages, we have often speculated about the Crown Killer. At first, we believe the monster took orders directly from the throne, yet recent events have laid bare innumerable facts that leave Empress Emily Coldwin and her Royal Protector Corvo Atano free of all such doubts. Not only are they no longer implicated in those gruesome murders, but they themselves are victims of clever, clever conspirators bent on destroying their exemplary reputations. Evidence now points to an assassin from Karnica, possibly taking orders from none other than Duke Luca Abel and Delilah Copperspoon. However, this venerable institution is reluctant to arrive at conclusions before the whole truth is known. We will keep you aware of events as they transpire, dear readers. Very good. So the message is already being spread to an extent. When the food runs out, I'll make my way over to the South Bank. Hello? Who are you? I'm not a friend to your new Empress, Delilah. Thank the stars for that. I've been hiding here since the coup. Worked in the carriage rails before things went to pieces. I've been in Karnaka for over a month. What can you tell me? At first, there was fighting. Delilah's bunch against those in the city watch who were still loyal. People tried to barricade the streets to put up a wall around the tower. Eventually, the overseers came down, led by the high overseer himself. They fought against Delilah's witches. That's the only word for him, but I haven't seen an overseer in a while now. Anything else? There was rioting over food, but people have fled the district mostly. Not long ago, someone came by in the dead of the night, pushing a carriage toward the tower. Looked like bones, maybe from a whaling slaughterhouse. No idea why Delilah would want that. Thanks for what you've told me. Stay hidden for a few more days. Maybe things will get better after that. A lot of whale bones for a lot of magic. Very good. Oh, Jesus. That's grim. Shame you can't cut them down. <laughs> More dogs. <laughs> Ow. I got bit. I'm trying to run up on you. Wolves and hatters are of no use to me. You got this close to Dunwall Tower by the gates. Yeah. After the big fight between those overseer hard asses and Delilah's girls. Are we gonna put it back together? Make it work? Yet, yeah, dumbass. Because you just spent six years at the Academy of Natural Philosophy. Hey, screw you. Don't lose your shit over joke, Daniel. We're gonna sell it. It's be worth a lot of coin. To get this thing onto a boat. No one buying a dunwall right now. What in the void? I see. Wait. Clockwork soldier stuff that are in pieces that they want to put back together. Yeah, that's happening. Very good.
Letter from Boyle Accounting Service. Miss Fenella Reed, I regret to inform you that your special allowance request has been denied by our financial director. We are very sorry to hear that your apartment on Coldwind Boulevard is in such poor condition, but we think you're being overly emotional when describing the building as on the verge of collapse. A broken leg is certainly not something irreparable, nor is a broken ceiling. In any case, as the import manager, you must understand that the company's future is unsure, to say the least, after the untimely death of its beloved founder. In, and the political turmoil across the Empire. All wages should remain frozen until a successor is appointed. No exceptions will be granted. We wish you the best of luck. Sincerely yours, Martin Jenkins of the Boyle Company Accounting Service. Well, there you go. Uh, that about does it for this place. Not a lot to find, but you can get a little bit of story about how this place fell into disrepair. Starting to get into guard territory, it looks like. God. Talk about disrepair, though. For making me wait. Of course, okay. I We've got witches. Where'd that voice come from? Oh, one even further up, okay. Good night, witch! An anonymous letter. Miss Fenella Reed, are you really going to keep living in a ruin with your legs still broken out of misguided loyalty to your boss? He's dead and he was an asshole, everybody knows that. I don't give your building three days before it falls to the ground. By that time, you could be sailing to Driscoll on the ship I told you about. The captain will grant you passage for free if I give him the word. They're leaving this afternoon. All you have to do is pass by that little courtyard behind the Dunwall Courier and do as I told you. Nobody will know. Go back to your family, leave Dunwall, and forget about the Boyle Company. This is your last chance. A friend. And the overseers that are dead in the streets. Why is this one so hidden? Look, why is it like so grayed out? That's weird. Like, is it because, ah, oh, it's probably because I have it locked on. Right, there you go. I was like, why is it so money. Check behind the weird? <laughs> if there's no. Hello, mate. Where did... Into the road! <laughs> it worked. I was like, throw the body into him. It throws him off balance. And you can get both of them. Incredible. That's how you do it. Very good. He thought it was related to the paintings. Last entry in a sailor's diary. Born in Dunwall, thought I'd die here too, but I got to go find a new home. It ain't one way or the other to me who runs the empire. You horn from way back, his granddaughter Lady Emily, this new Delilah, whoever, none of them could be like Jessamine. 
She really had something special. Anyway, I'd stay, but Dunwall's gone to junk, and there ain't nothing here for an old sailor. I'm gonna get killed in the street just for buying an ale, that's what. I got one regret, that's I'll, I'll never see my secret room again. Been working on it since I was a young man, my shrine. Lucky little tidbits I found here and there, my whalebone carvings, quite a collection. But I can't bring a whale room with me now, can I? Anyway, I ain't so old that I can't start a new shrine wherever I wash up. Maybe Tivia. Alright, let's have another chat with the uh, outsider, shall we? Welcome home, your majesty. Delilah's waiting for you. She's been sleeping badly for the last couple of weeks. Because that piece of her you are carrying around has been calling out, begging her to take it back. She feels the same craving, but she'll fight to the death to stop you from putting her spirit back where it belongs. You were careful in Karnaka. Let's see how that serves you in the tower where you were born. Delilah's got the throne, and she's got your father. But now, she's got a secret as well. She's got a secret. Okay. I've got four runes, so I'm wondering what I should go for now. Pulling enemies, not stealthy. <laughs> uh, I might go for being able to mesmerize four targets. We'll upgrade mesmerize. Stay locked on to that bone charm. There's already a dead witch here, okay. What happened here? Never mind, I have fading light. Okay. Far reach and blink consume no mana if used within a second of assassination. That's pretty cool. Uh does that also count as like the non-lethal uh, choking people out? I would assume so. You like choke someone out and you can go and vanish immediately. Block the secret passage. I want the back route out of the tower blocked off in case anyone else knew about the former Empress's secret exit. Work all night if you have to. So that guy that we put in the room, what was it? It was like three weeks? Of supplies and we've been gone for two months so I wonder what happened to him <laughs> because either he was forced to make three weeks worth of stuff last a much longer time and draw it out but yeah it's uh it's all blocked there's a dead body well if the Maybe sh with witch magic, they broke into the secret entrance um, and the safe room, but I kind of doubt it. All right, well, we're not able to go through the back. came over the walls and dragged you from your mother's corpse. Two are still alive. <laughs> Dowd and Billy. Poor little girl. Once an empress. Oh, so long ago, we ran across the rooftop. That's a shame. In the graveyard. Slept through the day. You're alone now. I'm your only family. There are 
cracks in the world from the outsider's birth, and then we draw from these fractures. Can you feel them? So these are all our dead outsiders. The battle that took place here. Oh. You know what? When I saw those bodies from a distance, like all the way over there, I was like, oh, we've got guards to watch out for. Uh, that's grim. Okay. is locked. Uh, you don't have a key on you per chance, gentlemen. No? That's alright, I'll find another way in. Are we just gonna try the, the main entrance? <laughs> Surely there should be a way into this, uh, here building. Can I see anything in here? Like a okay, lock open the window. There's a door there, but Guys, don't have too much fun. <laughs> Perhaps once we're inside, I can find my way in there. Um from that other door, potentially. Otherwise, I don't know. Mm. Well, they certainly didn't hold back from all of those overseer bodies, did they? He drove the point home. Weaver, that's it, mate. We talked about it last night. And me and my Jilly are leaving Dunwall. You know me. I was always city watch through and through. I never thought I'd be a deserter. But there's no other way. Staying in the tower with Delilah and all her followers would be nuts. I've seen things in the last week I didn't think could happen. When Mortimer Ramsay said Empress Emily was a traitor and that Lord Corvo had been killing off nobles, I believed it. Now I'm sure I was being naive. We all got taken on that one. Everything's ten times worse than it's ever been. Jilly and I are going up to Pulwick. Her sister has a farm outside of town, so goodbye and good luck. If you ever get up there, I owe you a few drinks. As always, remember our motto. Keep your head down. Peterson. Okay, it looks like i got to get some uh, whale oil going. Which means I need a tank. Um, which means, hey, yeah. Good thing everything's so close together when you need it, huh? Very good. There you go. Alright, gate control. I saw the High Overseer fall. All is lost. Leave this place. The Abbey assaulted the tower? Somehow we were overcome. Not just Delilah's sorcerers and their gravehounds, but mechanical men. 
automated soldiers. The ancient music was useless against them. Rest now, but know that I'm going to end Delilah's reign. I swear it. At death's door, I smell the corruption of the void upon you. A heretic against a heretic. Laughable. The world is doomed. He does not care. He's like, I can smell your magic. I've done what I could. Served the Abbey the best I was able. Hey, I've got like a health uh, elixir here. Do you want some? The strictures are written across my heart. I wish I could have protected the High Overseer. Brother Fitz, I bid you courage on your expedition into the heart of corruption, the once shining Dunwall Tower. Know that beyond Delilah's occult heresy, she is full of guile. Be wary. Storm the tower and protect High Overseer Kulan with your life, for he will lead us back to the righteous path. But there is another thing. For years, rumors have circulated regarding the Royal Protector. If victory is secured and you manage to find yourself in his quarters alone, we want you to search for signs of blasphemy. Report back, but only to me. All my years, I dedicate to the Abbey and the Oracular Order, Sister Rosewin. That's also like, hey, while you're here, there were rumors about that Corvo guy. They never got the chance, though. Okay, should we cut some weeds? I wonder if uh, incendiary bolts uh, would do the trick here against them. It definitely does. Oh shit, alright, turn to stone. Okay, um, okay, it does take a few hits. Oh. Damn, alright. <laughs> uh, incendiary bolt is the way to go, that's a one and done. You gotta smack it a couple of times, otherwise. This is a crazy visual here. Look at this. Just like Corvo. This must be Delilah's doing. Conjure rainbows for her brush. Ammonia drowns precious copper. Cyan leads dreams in proper. Four hands sift and four hands blend. Make the pigments block the wind. Fingers stained blue and blush. Conjure rainbows for her brush. Coal tar dye, pig's placenta. Grind and wash rich magenta. Two hands sift and two hands bled. Make the pigments block the wind. Fingers stained. When blush, conjure rainbows for her brush. Shade and hue, dig and crack. Crush and mix, eyeless black. Eight hands sift and eight hands blend. Make the pigments block the wind. Fingers stained, blue and blush. Conjure rainbows for her brush. Ancient mud and stinking clay, yellow dyes for golden day. Six hands sift and six hands blend, make the pigments block the wind. Fingers stained, blue and blush, conjure rainbows for her brush. Ammonia drowns precious copper, cyan leads to dreams improper. Four hands sift and four hands blend, make the pigments block the wind. Fingers stained, blue and blush, Conjure rainbows for her brush. Coal tar dye, pigs placenta. Okay, guys, good night. I don't know why you got like bounced back so hard from that one, but there you go. Sleep tight, witches. Ground glider. Okay, what is that? Slide speed faster, that's nice. Okay. We have a rune to find as well over there. 
Crimson and Black. Camilla, I have a special job for you and a few others, Coven sister. I'm at work on an important painting, my final masterpiece, and I require some rare pigments to see it to completion. Move in secret. Be quick. Gather what you need. Use the thigh bone of a drowned sailor to crush and mix the colors. Gather 20 banded slugs. Seal them together in a jar until only one remains. It will be large and shiny. Yes, fat, near to bursting. Crush it with your fingers and capture the ooze in a vessel. Use this to give the pigments a finer consistency. My love for you only grows. Your empress forever, Delilah. Yummy. Yummy paintings. Hello. I'll paint my nails red. Blood. Step outside with my mind. Oh, I've been yelled at. Hold on. Oh, it's so unfortunate that you're the odd one out here. Can you stop yelling at me? I can't. You should have stayed in Okay. Oh my god. Bring little world. God, you're making me waste all of my fucking. Healing potions. Uh, this did not go well. This went poorly. <laughs> God damn. Okay, anyway. Back on track, please. Yes. Talk to I'll me. I'll be you to bleed. Oh, I, the dog ripped my head off, I think. Okay, um... That went not well. So I was like, oh, there's four of them, including a dog. This is a perfect time for Mesmerize. But of course, there are more up here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to still do this plan, but just a little bit differently. We're also going to take out this one. I didn't even know it was here. Okay. Ew. Okay. It looks friendly. My feet, are, my feet are tap dancing right now, for real. Okay. But they're all gonna run in and get mesmerized. Anyone who runs in here will get mesmerized. Oh! Look, they're like right on the edge. Look at that. 
they're like they're like right on the verge of being like mesmerized and then not mesmerized oh the dog got revived interesting the dog gets oh right it's I remember now I remember now from the first game. Still got to use our Mesmerize on a good crowd. Interesting. Okay, so even sneaking up against it... What the fuck? <laughs> even sneaking up on it. Okay, so just better to avoid it in general. Our Empress Delilah's eyes burning bright. She's keen for this one. The world. The world as I want it. The world as I dreamed it was. Only notes, Regina. She only settles on a name when it's all done and dry on the canvas. Dry on a canvas of linen made of hand-harvested flax, with the seeds winnowed under a blood moon. To learn the words and say them just right. Otherwise, the spell won't work, no matter how many goose feathers you've gathered. <sighs> hmm. Why do they both have to be like that? <laughs> Trying to do something a little different, but they're all in the same spot like that. They all go to investigate instead of break away. Better have a look. Why did you have to be facing me? Oh, well, there you go. You well, okay. You did that to yourself. <laughs> oh no, the witch has died. Uh, Emily's tap dancing today. That's for sure. Alright, let's go to this rune, shall we? There's also... I see it ever so faintly. There's one over this way too. Yeah, the bone charm over there. No, that's not what she said. Dandelions. You finally mastered the Gravehound magic, didn't you? I did. Those poor dead overseers gave up their precious hounds, and I raised a pack of them. They're under the bridge. Few in the coven can do that. Delilah will be pleased. That's the hope I keep in my pockets. After the fight with the overseers at the main gate, some of us put down the rest of the dogs. And I dragged a few away and kept them for windows over this side, I wonder. Orthy dear, is that a ship I see in the mist? The dreadful whale, perhaps? No one's been coming up the Renhaven of late. Oh, never mind then. Maybe it's a drift. <laughs> it's 
interesting to see what, um, like I can go, there we go. Uh, very specific aim there. Bone charm, what do we got? Eh. No bullets, bone charm. Robust. Okay. Elixirs restore slightly more health. Very good. The water lock. Lissa, you like your assignment? I'm bored out of my skull. I say let's open up the water lock and have our own imperial fleet. I volunteer to be Delilah's first captain. Veronica? You always was a fool. We had to close the water lock so that no ships or anything can get in. Delilah's orders. She got enough to concern her without someone sneaking in through there. Keeping the tower safe is her first priority, like she said just a night ago, which you would know if you hadn't been out looting. Yes, I saw you slip away. Lissa, I heard her message. Belinda passed it on when I came back. And if we stayed in the water lock instead of keeping it blocked off with all that old blockade junk, we could keep anyone from creeping up on the tower. So I still don't see why we can't have our own fleet of ships with me a captain. The water lock, indeed. Okay. We have what we need. Yes, a very fine mist. Where is the whale from here? Time for us to go back. Damn, this is where it happened. You see where we are? We're returning to the scene of the crime. We're at currently on top of the water lock how many days till the next we must pay a visit let's see to uh, our dear mother six three Ooh, we got a painting too okay hang on it's a painting in a gravehound hot spot hmm. but we'll see Oh, from over there? Damn. Was someone. I'll paint my nails red with. Oh, man. I won't let her. Oh. I'm glad her running about didn't alert all of the dogs. That would have been unfortunate. Um, there you go. So you can use the stinging bolt, which is very interesting, but obviously the ancient how bolt is the one that I wanted to use. I just misclicked. Still works though. Luca, his eyes upon me. Yeah. We have our painting. Did not expect to get spotted from up there. Alright, well, the dog got woke up. <laughs> Someone woke the dog. It certainly wasn't me. Ah, Delilah's hatred for my mother knows no end. Oh, wow. No one could help you, dear sister. I didn't break it, you little liar. No one remember the truth except me, Jessamine. I will always remember. God, that's such a level of petty. Mother, I wish we could talk just one more time. Such a level of petty. Yeah, well, we're not getting in the water lock, that's for sure. 
return to Dunwall Tower. It's looking good. What a great place you've got here. Love what you've done with the place. Feels weird to be doing this infiltration again as Emily instead of Corvo. It's our second time returning to the tower in this fashion. Much of the algae does Our Lady Delilah want? And what's it for? Tell me. I won't let the secret slip. She just needs a bit. And if you promise to keep your tongue in your head, I'll tell you. It's part of her new undertaking. A painting to end all paintings, she says. Some great new magic she's concocting. After taking Dunwall Tower itself, what more could our mistress want? Delilah wants the whole world's love. The seas around it, and the stars above it. Just a very normal thing to want. Not just world domination. Universal domination. Oh. Um. I have dried algae. Uh, that's a mission item, apparently. Scrape from Denk Moat around Dumble Tower. Um. Oh, I was meant to teleport behind them and grab them? <coughs> hmm. If we're grabbing... Hmm. If we're grabbing... Ah! Mission items like that. I wonder if this is... Oh my god, my controller, Jesus. Um, I wonder if this is going to be tied into the non-lethal way. Like, are we going to be doing something with a paint, tampering with her painting once again? <laughs> Obviously, we have this for a reason. I wonder if that means we have to go back to the, the other areas, like when we're in the painting room and we need that as well, but we missed the item to pick up. That's possible. We've been listening to all of them, but haven't been getting, like, more clues at the moment anyway. It's funny because it was just an accidental, like, position. I meant to just teleport uh, behind her. Well, all right then. Keep that in mind because a non lethal option has not presented itself to us yet. But I think we're seeing pieces of it. In, in, I haven't done an enemy in physical f uh, in Shadow Walk yet. It could be quite kind of fun. Um, rapid sprint and catfall I might look into now because I can sprint quieter now. So it does make me want to have that. Slow time while sliding if aiming a ranged weapon is kind of cool. I think we'll go for sprinting faster. Sewer and pump room inspection. Water level's normal. Had to burn a few river crusts to get to gate 2B. They shouldn't come back this time. Water level's normal. Severe rain. Water level's above normal. Can't believe what happened today. Looks like we got ourselves a new empress out of nowhere. I don't like it. I didn't get word from anyone. Not sure if I'm supposed to continue working as usual. Removed a dead hound stuck in gate 14D. I doesn't feel safe outside. I'll just hide here a while. Found myself a good spot near the pump room. I heard people talking in the sewers. Two of those strange women who came to live in the tower with the new empress. They were collecting moss and algae from the walls. Stayed maybe an hour, scraping and chanting. I wonder what it's for. Are they cleaning the sewers? That doesn't make any sense. Do they know I still work here? Does anyone? Um, so we got algae, but they also want um, moss off the walls as well. So I wonder if we need that. Yeah. 
buckets of the stuff. I have it to two impossible places at once. You can do it. I believe in you. Let me up. Are we just going through the front door? Hello? <laughs> Anybody here? To the front door we go, to the tower interior. That's a lovely looking loading screen there. Hey. Faye says Delilah's up in the throne. But a few days ago, she was spending all her time in that bleak little overseer chapel. What's afoot? What's she working on? Hmm. Okay, in the throne room. She probably found it funny, using the chapel as a studio, mixing pigments where those fools used to preach their nonsense. But she moved to the throne room once she was ready to start her new painting. Always exciting when she starts to sculpt or paint. Yes, but this one is special. Delilah says it's going to change everything, the world and all the spheres beyond. Go sneak a peek of it, if you dare. The way that they just stared at me for a second there. That? Good clues. Thanks for talking, team. Sleep tight. So we'll go and investigate the chapelle, of course. I can use the elevator to reach Delilah up in the throne room. Yeah, but that's boring. We gotta go elsewhere. Following the Abbey's pathetic assault, I want the power shut off in the security room, and I want this rickety old contraption locked. No more supplicants from the city riding up to beg for my graces. Come to my throne room only if your need is dire, and woe be to anyone from outside the coven who disturbs me while I'm painting. The overseers were probably the last of our significant enemies, and now they're beaten. I trust you can handle anyone else who comes along. I'll have to reach the security room to restore electricity to the tower and get the elevator working. What was that? Uh, why can't I just go through that? Okay. Oh my god. The movement sometimes uh, is really weird. There we go. The elevator is right above us, so we actually can't... We can't get up and around it. Because I don't think we can fit. Yeah. We unfortunately cannot do that. Um, will this push the elevator to us? That just opens the door, doesn't it? I still can't bring it down without power. Alright. We're not circumventing it that way. Oof. Hello. Two bone charms on this one. A corrupt bone charm and a, a normal bone charm. Very good indeed. Okay. As we find ourselves in a brand new area, we've entered the tower itself after going through the Dunwall streets. A nice little welcome home present. Uh, we have more places in the tower itself as we look to push through to our final mission of taking out Delilah Copperspoon, and we will be doing that one next time. So thank you so very much for joining me for this episode of Dishonored 2, and I will see you 
when we decide to explore the rest of Dunwall Tower.